Assalamu alaikum my dear student of class 2 welcome to all of you in our virtual classroom arranged by Samsala Khan School and College English version I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah I am also fine well today in this class we are going to discuss about the chapter 5 the name of this chapter is birds that means we will learn a lot about the birds from this chapter before starting this chapter I hope you all have taken your books so let's go and try to learn something from this chapter before starting this chapter I would like to show you some pictures of birds if you can see there is a lots of birds in this picture and all of them are different they're different in color they're different in shape they're different in size as well they're different there with their activities that's why we can say that they can be the bird but they are all different and different birds have different activities and different birds have different colors so we will learn more from this topic let's go and try to open the page 32 from our textbook in page 32 we will read about the chapter 5 before starting this I would like to tell you what we are going to learn from this chap chapter birds are the only animals with feathers birds have wings most birds can fly birds hatch from eggs the parents look after the baby birds till they leave the nest these all are the points that we are going to learn from this chapter so let's go and try to read what it says birds have wings and feathers most birds can fly if you look into the book there are three birds in the picture one's name is sparrow another is kingfisher and another is eagle and if you can see they have the wings and also their body is covered with feathers among all most of them can fly some of them cannot fly now the feathers birds have three kinds of feathers number one is down feathers number two is body feathers and number three is flight feathers if you look their body you will get three different kind of feathers in their body one kind of feather is known as the down feathers another is body feathers and another is flight feathers and the next the ostrich is a huge bird it is too heavy to fly if you look the left part of this book there is a picture that a boy is smaller than an ostrich that means ostrich is a huge bird but they cannot fly because they are too heavy to fly the next line says a bird's shape helps it to move fast through the air if you can look there is a picture of an airplane and also there is a picture of a bird and both of them are look alike the birds can fly like a aeroplane the bird shape also helps to move them fast into the air the next line says a bird has wings it uses them to fly that means the bird use the wings to fly in the sky let's go to page 33 a bird has strong arm and chest muscles it can flap its wings with these if you look at the right part picture you can see that the bird has a strong arm which is known as their wings and they have the uh, chest muscles it helps the wings to flap and let them help to fly quite fast and the next says a bird is very light it has an air in its body and very light bones that means inside the bird their body is quite filled with air and also their bones are very light that's why most of the birds are quite light most birds build nest some nests are made high up in trees others are made on the ground or in the buildings 
If you look into the book, there are pictures, you can see that some birds make their nest into the trees and also some birds make their nest into the buildings. Some, if you look into the old building, you can see that the birds made their buildings, uh, bird made their nest into that buildings. The next says, the female bird lays her eggs in the nest. The nest hides the eggs from the enemies. It also keeps the eggs warm. That means whenever a bird want to lay eggs, normally they lay the eggs into the nest and they try to cover it up to protect, the, uh, protect her eggs from the enemies and also try to keep the eggs warm. When the baby bird hatch, they are blind. They are also naked and they have no feathers. If you look into the picture on the right part, you can see that whenever a new baby bird born, it, it's normally blind. That means it cannot see and their body were not covered with the feathers. The parents look after the babies. They feed the babies and keep them warm. The baby birds grow feather. That means after their hatch and some days the parents try to look them after, feed them and uh, protect them from the enemies. And after some days when the baby birds grow older, their feathers also grow in their body. Now in the next page, this is the last bird. The baby birds soon learn how to fly. They leave their nest. That means after some days, whenever they grow older, they can uh, they become uh, a complete bird. They can learn. They learn how to fly, and they leave their nest and they fly independently. Well, this was the chapter about the birds and what we have learned. Let me tell you some key points. The first point says most bird can fly. That means we have seen that the ostrich is a kind of bird but it cannot fly that's why we cannot say that all birds can fly so most birds can fly the point two says bird has wings and feathers there are three types of feathers we have seen that bird is uh, created with wings and feathers and we have seen the classification of feathers and they were three types one is down feathers body feathers and flight feathers Point three, bird has chest muscle and it helps to flap wings during the fly. That means with the help of the wings, normally a bird can fly, but actually they have a chest muscle which helps them to flap their wings very strong and they can fly very fast into the air. Point four, they are very light. Well, we have seen that their bones are quite light and their body is quite filled with the air. That's why a bird is normally light in weight. Point five, bird makes their nest in trees and buildings. We have seen in the picture and also if we look uh, into the old buildings or into the top of the big trees, we have seen that the birds normally make their nest into the trees or the uh, whole of a, uh, old buildings. In point eight, the female bird lay her eggs in the nest. We have seen that a female bird normally lay their eggs in the nest, try to protect them from the enemies and keep them warm just before the born of a new baby bird. Point seven says newborn baby bird are blind and featherless. That means after the born of a new baby bird, we can see that they are normally blind. That means they cannot uh, see and they are featherless and we have seen that their parents try to look them after and protect them from the enemies and they uh, provide them the food by themselves and whenever they grow older they can uh, they learn how to fly and they can leave their nest and they can fly into the sky independently well that was all for today's uh, lecture i hope you have understood whatever is written in this chapter but if you feel anything uh, tough, you can uh, watch this video again and again. And after that, I hope uh, you will mark the important lines from this chapter. So that was all for today. 
you have to remember one thing that you need to stay at home and stay safe and if you have any problem regarding this chapter you are feel free to contact as below thank you very much